Hello everyone, this is Don from DonWebSolutions.com and in today's WordPress tutorial we are going to learn how you can change the default image sizes on your WordPress website. Now if you have come across this video, it is highly likely that you are looking for directions on how you can change uh, some of the default image sizes that's given to you as options when you are attaching an image to your WordPress pages or your posts. Uh, WordPress by default uses four image sizes, the thumbnail size, the medium size, the large and the original sizes. On our end, we can actually give the system directions on how you can change the thumbnail, the medium and the large sizes and that's exactly what we are going to learn today. We're going to be learning how you can change these sizes on your WordPress website. So in order for you to do this, one of the first things you have to do is you have to be logged in to your WordPress dashboard. And once you're there, you're going to navigate to settings and then media. And this page gives you an understanding of what these sizes are. So I'm going to go through these sections one by one. The thumbnail size, I've given it directions of 150 pixels by 150 pixels. I've also clicked the crop thumbnail to exact dimensions. Now, by doing so, what I'm saying is when I'm attaching a thumbnail image, I want it to have exact dimensions of 150 by 150. So when you're attaching it, it's going to do a hard crop of all the images regardless of what the original size of the image is and it's going to reset it to 150 by 150. The medium size and the large size, however, uh, you do not have the option of doing a hard reset. Uh, instead, what you have to do is you have to give it maximum width and maximum height details. So when attaching an image, uh, whether it's going to be a medium or a large, unlike the thumbnail images, it's not going to be a hard crop or a hard reset. Uh, instead, it's going to use dimensions. So uh, an example would be if you have an original image, original attachment uh, that is 600 pixels by 300 pixels width and height. And if you choose the medium size when you're attaching the image, then the image is going to be recite, uh, reset to the maximum width or the maximum height. So in this case, it's going to reset to 300 being the maximum width and then the height is going to be proportional, which makes it 150. Uh, so I, go, I hope you guys have a better understanding of that. Uh, I'm going to give you a brief understanding of how to change these things as well. So before we do that, what we're going to do is once you've done with selecting the original sizes that you want, you're going to click Save Changes. And once you have done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of how you can add these images. So this is one of the pages that I'm working on right now. So in order for me to add a media, all I have to do is add an image. All I have to do is click Add Media. And once you're there, you're going to select an image that you want to add. So here you go. The original image size, it would be 1366 by 768. But when I'm attaching this, I can give it directions on whether to use a thumbnail option now. Again, 150 by 150. And as you can see, that's a hard crop. However, for the medium and the large sizes. Now for the medium size, I gave it 300 by 300. But in this section, as you can see, it is proportional. So if you are going to attach an image in the medium size, then it's going to be 300 by 169 because that is what's proportional to what we are using. And I hope this guys this helped you a lot. So again, in today's tutorial, we learned how you can change the image sizes on your WordPress website. Until next time, I'm signing off. This is Don from DonWebSolutions.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.